All right, before we go on into the lecture, I wanted to kind of do some examples of using the if statements. Now, this is actually a quiz that I give you where I have you figure out a Chinese zodiac. I do give you a link to a website so that you can look this up. So here's the website that I link in the quiz. This used to start in 1924. And then in 1924, like every year, you go to the different zodiac. This repeats itself every 12 years. So we can take 1924, the zodiac signs are at. And then every year after that, you go on to the next one. Next one's an ox, the tiger, the rabbit, dragon, and so on. And here's the table. So what I want you to do is read the input from a user and then determine what zodiac that user is. So let's go ahead and set that up. So here's the quiz. I do tell you to stay within a specific range. This is just for like programming purposes. So you get comfortable of having a specific range and eliminating that range. So let's go ahead and set this up. So first thing I need is a scanner object. Then I'm going to need an input for the user's year. Then I'm going to prompt the user for the year, and then I can go ahead and get into the if conditions that I'm going to use. So here's what I have so far. Now you should be comfortable with getting this far. This is all stuff that we've talked about in chapters one through four. So at this point, you should be comfortable with creating a scanner object for setting up a variable for the year, prompting the user, taking that data, storing the year, and outputting that data. This is all basic stuff so far. So I'm going to go ahead and just compile and run this program to verify that it works correctly. I'm going to turn a year. I'm going to say 1924. And there's my output. So now that I'm grabbing the year entered by the user, the first thing I want to do, I want to make sure the year is within 1924 to 1931. I'm going to go ahead and do that check first. So I went ahead and set up an if statement to determine if the year is within the range. So I'm checking to see if the year is greater than or equal to 1924 and less than or equal to 2031. So if the year is within this range, I have more code that I have to create right in here. If it's not, then I'm telling them that the year needs to be within range. I'm going to go ahead and test this. So I'm going to start by entering a low year, like 1923. I print out what they entered, and then I give them the error. Now I'm going to enter in 2032, just to verify. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to enter in a year that's in range, and I didn't get the error message. So what happened was I came inside of this statement, but there was nothing to execute. So within this if statement, I need to go ahead and do some additional checks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another method to handle this. So I created this helper method. This helper method I'm going to use inside of this if statement up here in my main method. I'm basically going to call this method and pass in the year. And then I'm going to use this method to determine the zodiac sign. So the way I'm going to do this calculation is I'm going to create a variable to hold the result. So I created a zodiac num to hold the result of my calculation. The way I'm going to do this calculation is I'm going to take the year and I'm going to subtract 1924. And that's going to set me to zero. So that means the rat is going to start at zero. So if I take the result of this and divide that by 12, and if the remainder of that is zero, then I know that the zodiac sign for that year is a rat. So here's my calculation. The remainder of this is what I'm going to use to determine the zodiac. So I'm going to go ahead and set up an if statement to determine if this is a rat. So if the zodiac number is zero, that means it's completely divisible by 12, then I know we have a rat. Anything else is not a rat, but I'm going to return llama. I know that's not a zodiac sign, but I'm only testing the rat so far. So I just want to return something because this method has to return a string. So I need to return some type of string from this method. So I'm going to go to my main method. And in this if statement, I'm going to go ahead and call my method. So I added this statement. This statement is basically going to print out a string, but it's going to invoke the get zodiac and pass in the year. The year I'm going to pass in is whatever year the user entered. And it's going to use that year to determine what the zodiac sign is. So if I entered in a 1924, I'll get a rat. A 1948, I should get a rat. If I come to this table for any of these years, I should be able to get a rat when I enter any of these years. So I'm going to go ahead and compile and run my program. I entered in 1924, I got a rat. I'm going to enter in 1948, also a rat. 2020, also a rat. And then like one last check is something that is within range, but is not a rat. And we'll just say 1935. And that's the llama. So the next animal on the list is an ox. So the ox is one year after the rat. So I can take what I did for the rat and just check to see if the zodiac number is equal to one. If the zodiac number is equal to one, that means I'm an ox. I can do the same thing for tiger. If it's a two, it's a tiger. And then for three, it would be a rabbit. So I'll have to update these conditions right here in order to check for the other zodiac signs. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more. So I went ahead and added a few more. So I added the ox, I added the tiger, and I added the rabbit. So the ox was the next year after the rat, and then it was a tiger, 
and then those rabbit. So there's a pattern here, right? So we can keep adding these. It gets actually pretty easy since we set up the first one. So I can go ahead and compile and run this and test it, but I didn't have to do any code changes up here. It's still the same thing. I'm basically just invoking this method. So I'm gonna go ahead and test to make sure I'm getting the right results. So here's the website. So I need to find some test data for the ox, for the tiger and for the rabbit. I'll choose 1961 for the ox. I'll choose 1974 for the tiger and I'll choose 1987 for the rabbit. I'm gonna enter this in my program and I'll make sure I get the ox, the tiger, and the rabbit. So I'm gonna go ahead and compile and run my program. I'm gonna enter in 1961. So I entered 1961, this should be an ox. I got an ox. Now I entered 1974, this should be a tiger. Now I entered in 1987, this is gonna be a rabbit. So this is actually a quiz that I assigned to my students. So I want you to go ahead and finish this. I did most of it for you. I did all the heavy lifting for you. If you don't feel comfortable using this method here, you can go ahead and just kind of move this out into the main method here and just use the year directly in here and just set up all the statements inside of here. Using helper methods is gonna prevent my main method from looking big and unmanageable. So I simply just call this method here and then you can come over here and this is where all the logic is done.